I've never seen anyone try to put an electric skateboard on a dyno, so let's do it. This video was filmed last year and originally posted over on the Area 13 Mischief channel based on my health and my capabilities. It makes sense right now to kind of uh, shift everything into one YouTube channel. So since this video was filmed, the one update I have is that I've decided to put a few Meepo skateboards in our shop. So if you wanna see one of these in person, even take one for a spin, come check them out at our new store location in downtown Grass Valley, California. So I just did a review on the Meepo City Rider 3. This is an electric skateboard that claims to have two 3,500 watt motors. Now this thing has been a ton of fun. No matter what happens, I do think that it's worth the price that they sell it for, but I have my doubts about the peak output, how much of supposedly, possibly 7,000 watts altogether is actually making it to the ground. I don't think anyone has ever bothered to fact check electric skateboards, but I'm gonna do it right now. And if you're a company with an electric skateboard that you think has all the power that's advertised, uh, please let me know. I'd love to throw it on the dyno. So on the screen here, this is the max power. So this is what you wanna watch. This is in kilowatts. So if we actually got 7,000 watts, we would see 7.00 right here. The other thing we can measure is the foot pounds of torque right here. I bet it's gonna do pretty well on the torque setting. And then the speed in miles per hour is gonna show up right here. This is not a realistic speed because there's no aerodynamic drag, there's no rider weight, but it is kind of getting up to the max theoretical speed. Uh, and this one over here, that's just the RPM of the drum itself. Now I hope this is gonna work. Before I turned on the camera, I tried a few different methods of strapping this thing down and uh, basically the skateboard kept trying to fly off in various directions. So I think I've got it right, but I haven't actually run it up all the way. The battery is fully charged. I just pulled it off the charger before throwing it on here. This has four power settings. So I've got it cranked up all the way to the max and I'm just gonna roll the throttle on. We'll see what happens. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna throw it on my whiteboard up here. I've only officially done one test on an electric bike, so I'll have another category. I'll keep track of every single electric skateboard I test and what the power actually is. Oh wait, I have to start. Helps if you click this button. All right, now we're tracking everything. Please don't fly off. Oh, the torque is awesome. That's a lot of torque. Getting kind of scary. Gonna run it all the way through. I think that's about it right there. The RPM stands steady at 633, 634, and it's not increasing, so that's it. And I got a brake right here to slow this down. Don't ever use the brake on whatever you're testing. That is a disaster. I've already learned that from experience. All right, let's uh, pause this. See what I got. Max power, 1.299 kilowatts. So both motors, hello dogs. Hey, get out. So I was hoping for a bit more on the kilowatts, 1.299, we might as well just say 1.3. So that's about 1300 watts maximum. So they do rate the motors at 3500 watts each. My guess is maybe the motors are actually capable of that peak power, but either the controller or the battery just doesn't feed that much power to the motors. So I guess the good way to look at that is your motors should never burn up. They should be running very cool all the time. But if you think you're getting 
something that's gonna have 7,000 watts of power or anywhere close to it at the wheels, uh, you're just not getting that. Now the torque uh, was pretty impressive, 36 foot pounds, and it ramped up really quick. I'll look at the chart in the moment, but as a comparison, the electric bike that I tested yesterday uh, had a max of 1.29 kilowatts. The skateboard had a hair more power than the electric bike, and the bike had 32.97, basically 33 foot-pounds of torque, and the skateboard has 36 foot-pounds of torque. So for something that weighs around 30 pounds versus an electric bike that weighs in the mid 60 some pound range, that's pretty impressive. The watts is basically the same as the bike, the torque is more, and obviously the weight is a lot less. So with a skilled rider on the road, the skateboard will be faster. So here's the full run. The blue line is the watts or the horsepower, and it ramped up really fast, right up to the max, right near the beginning. Uh, and it stayed pretty steady. This is kind of the same curve that I have seen on the other bikes I've tested so far, uh, other than the fact that it ramped up power very, very quickly. So max power uh, right away, and then it held that pretty well. And then you can see as the RPM starts to get towards the higher end, what happens is the power starts to drop off and eventually just fades into nothing as it reaches the max. And then the torque ramped up very quickly. This is kind of interesting that it ramped up really fast, slowed down a hair, and then there's its peak. So really good acceleration. And then the torque just faded off pretty gradually from there on out. As far as environmental conditions, which I've said in the other video, I'll say it again in this one, I don't think it's really gonna make much of a difference unless it's super cold or super hot and it affects the battery performance. But it is 65 degrees right now. Uh, humidity is about 59%. So you know what it is. This is the first electric skateboard to go on the board and the official numbers that it's showing me on the screen right here is 1.3 kilowatts at 300 RPM and 36.06 foot-pounds of torque at 242 RPM. No idea how that's gonna to compare to any electric skateboards. I have had one other company already reach out uh, wanting us to review their board. It claims to have a lot less power, but we'll see. Now because the RPM is the RPM of the drum and not the wheel or the tire that's on whatever I'm testing, I can easily directly compare different things, whether it's a bicycle, motorcycle, skateboard. So if we were comparing miles per hour and how fast these were going, the Blackbird bike I tested yesterday hit the peak wattage at 423 RPM and the skateboard hit the peak wattage much earlier at 300 RPM. So we can kind of see that this has more acceleration. It makes sense because of the extra torque that it has. Now the torque uh, was within five RPM. So that's pretty interesting uh, that they basically hit their max torque at almost the same speed. I wasn't expecting these to be even remotely close to each other. The edge is gonna go to the skateboard in this case. If you wanna see more dyno tests on other electric vehicles, it could be skateboards, scooters, electric motorcycles, bicycles. I've got some custom builds I'm working on. I'm certainly gonna use this dyno for. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll be back soon.